Hey, welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today I will follow up on the Mac Pro that I set up a little while ago. Let's go. So here's the computer closet. It's a little tight here. Here's the Mac Pro. All installed. Slay, PC Slave 1 and PC Slave 2. And battery backup. This is uh, the old Mac Pro that's now become a office machine. An office machine for all the spreadsheets, correspondence, um, all that kind of stuff. And there's an extra hard drive there, extra hard drive right here. There's a dedicated air conditioner, a NAS that I'm not using right now, and a bunch of backup drives as you can see, network, more backup drives, and backup, backup, backup always. So, you know, um, computers live more comfortably than the humans do. The main hookup point to the computer is this rack where the audio interface is. That's why all these cables are here and the patch bay is over there, of course. So, anyway, the computer runs over here and uh, down here has some USB and there's a Thunderbolt 2 breakout box here and Thunderbolt 3 breakout box there that's the computer switching system so I don't have to have a million monitors and uh, over here the focus right is the audio interface for the office computer underneath it is a MIDI breakout a splitter a MIDI hub Here's another USB hub that goes to the DAW and this is for all the various things that have to be connected by via USB like uh, Torpedo and Better Maker and keyboards and control units etc etc. After living with this Mac Pro for a little while now I have uh, come to a couple of conclusions for sure and that is because it's more effective and efficient than the other Mac Pro I was using, my slaves uh, are being worked harder. So as it turns out, the, all the work that's going into this now is all about rearranging the original template and basically making a new template, especially for orchestral, because I need to have it working much higher efficiency on the PC slaves, the slave one and two. So working hard on getting the slaves more efficient and that means you know that's quite a bit of work the other thing I've noticed about that Mac Pro is that the Thunderbolt 3 has not been the most efficient thing um, mainly because of the cable length so I couldn't actually configure it the way I had it before so as you can see in the little studio tour um, I've had to use a lot of Thunderbolt 2 breakouts uh, in order to meet the length especially for the audio interface and for all the USB stuff that's sitting outside of my computer closet um, that was kind of a tricky thing to get to work once it's been working it's absolutely been efficient to say the least um, yeah so Thunderbolt 3 has not been the best thing for me um, also mainly because of the cable length problem so anything that has to be right next to the computer will work but six feet out and it's not going to work um, where thunderbolt 2 you can have much 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 greater length of thunderbolt cables which means you can have everything much closer to you rather than to the computer so that's a major thing right there um, the logitech keyboards and mouse well that's been a hit or miss because it kind of loses connections to it quite often and I'm not so sure 
that Logitech is up to speed with their software. So the keyboard and mouse is kind of iffy. Um, also, um, the main monitor, if you see the monitor up there, the not the main monitor, but the TV screen up there kind of loses connections ever so often. And I'm not sure what that is. Um, but the other two monitors won't. So I'm still trying to figure that one out. The other thing about that Mac Pro is that um, most of the issues come from Catalina. Uh, I had to upgrade every software pretty much to make it work. Um, it's very finicky and uh, that means a lot of re-registration of plugins and, and things like that. So that was a lot of work actually. That was the bulk of the work to, in this whole process with that Mac, I would say, is getting everything to work on the software. That's the story with this Mac Pro so far. It's been, I mean, I would even say it's twice as efficient as my old trash can spittoon Mac Pro. Uh, everything is running at half the buffer size than it was before. And, you know, I'm actually running more plugins and, and things like that. And like I said, the slaves are kind of like limping behind a little bit right now. So I'm not sure exactly where the, the solution to that is, but I'm going to try a couple of things over the next few weeks when I get a chance. It just so happens that I've, I've had a few gigs here since I got that Mac Pro, so it's really a trial by fire kind of thing, and I haven't had a chance to go through every permutation uh, of tweaking that I need to do in order to have it, the whole thing running optimally. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, make a comment below, share it, support my channel. And until next time, take care and be safe.